I'm Dr. Ryan Stanton, and it's time to find out what's going around. During the winter months, a big concern that leads some to the emergency department is carbon monoxide. This is a colorless and odorless gas that is produced during the dirty combustion of hydrocarbons such as fuel and gas. The CDC reports that carbon monoxide causes about 400 deaths every year and about 20,000 ER visits. Carbon monoxide displaces the oxygen on our red blood cells and basically suffocates the victim. One of the challenges is that the early symptoms of carbon monoxide present much like other common culprits this time of year, the flu. Many will experience fatigue, muscle aches, nausea, and headaches. It can easily be dismissed as a viral syndrome. One of the big tip-offs is multiple family members experiencing symptoms at the same time. There are several steps you can do to keep you and your family safe. First, have your heating unit inspected. A clean system burns more efficiently and has less risk of producing carbon monoxide. Second, if you have concerns, don't wait. Get your house checked immediately for the presence of carbon monoxide. Fire departments have detectors available and can quickly determine the presence at significant levels. Also, if there are concerns, get out of the house or building right away. Third, get carbon monoxide detectors. These are cheap and can save your life. The recommendation is to have at least one in the house. I recommend one in the kitchen and then one on every floor of the home, especially near sleeping areas. Fourth, make sure all appliances that burn gas or fuel are vented properly. And finally, never use outdoor items such as a grill or generator indoors. Some people mistakenly do this during power outages and winter storms and can quickly be deadly. You can join the conversation on our What's Going Around Facebook page and at Everyday Med on Twitter. I'm Dr. Ryan Stanton, and that's What's Going Around.